Today, uh, we were going to be eating some vegan spam. Hey everyone, so uh, today, today we're going to be doing uh, a taste test with Omnipork. Uh, and I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it before, but this is a brand that is based out of Hong Kong. And I think that their claim to fame, they specialize in vegan pork products because in Asia, actually like the main um, protein that's eaten is actually pork. It's not chicken or it's not beef. So I have had the Omnipork mince before, but it was in a restaurant and it was all mixed with everything else. So I, I actually didn't really know how, like how close to the texture it would taste to pork or how close in flavor it would taste to pork. But the thing that I was even more excited about and I had been hounding them for, for months now was uh, to get this. So this is Omni Pork Spam. Uh, Omni Pork uh, Luncheon, Luncheon Meat, I don't think we can say spam. Um, and I think this is the one that like you either love or hate, like people were either really squeamish about it or they weren't as excited as I was. But the thing is, you should be because this is the first company that has attempted to make a veganized version of like spam, of, of the luncheon meat. Spam for me is quite nostalgic. I remember when I was young in school, instead of, you know, like my mom packing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I would always get like just two pieces of white bread and a Spam sandwich. It's very traumatizing. I think I'm gonna put it with ramen, I'm quite lazy. Um, I was originally thinking of uh, fried rice and then um, spam with ramen which is like very classic and then also spam with um, like macaroni pasta yeah I don't know if I'm gonna cook all of that but I will make some stuff and then we will try it uh, outside and I will tell you how it is Interesting, interesting smell. Okay, so I have my three dishes here. So um, I have my fried rice that I made with kind of more like pan fried, more crunchy um, luncheon meat. Um, I have the same thing, but with um, macaroni, which is a very classic preparation. It's just like macaroni, some light broth, and then strips of the luncheon meat of the, of the Spam put in. And this Spam I also um, pan fried in a pretty crunchy way. Finally, my third one is just Spam with ramen, another very big classic, um, salt and salt. Um, and what I did was I lightly pan fried um, the luncheon meat so that it would be um, less, less crispy, but also less dry so that we can have a kind of a different texture and a different taste of things. You guys are probably asking a little bit more towards the ingredients. So cruelty-free, does not use um, GMO soy, uh, no hormones, antibiotics, preservatives, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, I think one thing that's cool that I haven't really seen is that it's, it's Buddhist friendly as well. So uh, those of you that know about that, usually Buddhists don't tend to eat things like from the Allium family. So like your, your garlics, um, they don't tend to eat like onions as well, just because those foods are very strong when it reaches your stomach, it's very strong in terms of smell. So when you are spending, you know, a good part of your day meditating and being around other people, uh, 
having those kinds of foods can be very, um, I would imagine, distracting. Let me first go into um, the, the fried rice for you guys first. So the fried rice, I cut it into uh, kind of small squares and I fried it up so that it would be nice and crispy. I think the Ami pork works quite well in fried rice just because it is, with fried rice, I don't really like to put too many additional flavorings in it. I really like the salt to be kind of from my main protein. And so this, like, I, I think if it was just cut into little pieces like this, like, yeah, I don't think that people would notice like, oh, is this spam or is this, hold on, I keep on using spam. I don't think that people would know the difference between like, oh, is this a luncheon meat or is this like a, a faux meat? So I'm gonna move on over actually to, cause I think with these smaller pieces, because they're kind of crunchy and they're small, I don't get as much, I can't get as much um, texture as I would like from it. But for that reason, I think it really works in small pieces um, in fried rice. Uh, flavor wise though, it's not as salty as Spam, which is actually quite nice. Um, there is a very like kind of meaty and savory flavor to this, of, uh, quite meaty. Um, and then what they ended up doing is, I think they put like kind of like a smokiness, like almost like already pan fried type flavor in here, like almost like the Beyond Meat where they're able to kind of put that like grilled, barbecue grilled flavor um, already into this. And so um, in some ways it reminds me a little bit of like, um, like kind of like faux bacon where sometimes they'll have kind of already that, that grilled or that fried texture. So the second one that we're going to do is um, just macaroni pasta. This is a very classic um, way of preparing this. So it's macaroni, usually you do it with like a very light broth. So you could do like a vegetable broth, you could do like, you know, chicken stock or something. Um, and I made sure that it was quite light because I didn't want, I didn't want the flavors to compete with anything. Okay, so now we're gonna try kind of like a bigger, bigger piece. Hmm. Hold on. So, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> so it's actually quite different because when you mix it around with soup, the, the crunchiness, because it was pan fried, um, kind of like rehydrates some more. And so it becomes a slightly softer texture and, um, and a little bit less salty. So with these bigger pieces and these bigger strips, it does taste differently uh, texturally from Spam. Whereas, you know, like with Spam, it is very finely ground meat and along with the, the gelatin from the pork, Spam becomes very like gelatinous. It definitely has a, a texture to it, right? Some people hate that, some people like it. And so I could see um, this almost tastes like, you know, like, like, like thick cut bacon, like Canadian thick cut bacon, where um, it, it still has like all the smokiness and whatnot, but when you bite into it, like there's no gelatinous texture at all. It almost, um, it kind of tastes like a very, it's like a coarsely ground spam. A little bit almost like, like minced meat, I imagine it, it's, it's similar, somewhat similar in texture to their ground up pork. So I, I could see someone who doesn't like the texture of spam, uh, you know, taking a liking to this just because this, it's more recognizable that it's actually like a ground up meat. Okay, so the third one that we are going to try is um, is the ramen. So again, a very classic preparation. <laughs> Usually it's, I don't know why it is because Spam is already so salty. So pairing it with ramen seems a little bit overkill. Okay, now well, let's. Okay, so the taste of this Spam, so again, I didn't pan fry it too much, so it's, it's left quite, um, still quite tender and, and not crunchy. Um, 
is very similar to the strips. It's very similar to what I tasted in the strips. The flavors have been pretty similar throughout. You, you have that smokiness, um, there's like a savoriness about it. Um, and, and it's quite nice. It is actually quite nice. It's not uh, off-putting or like overly, I guess, like meaty or something. It's, it's quite nice. Um, reminds, reminds me a bit of Spam. Um, texturally, what we uh, highlighted here is the same thing here. So um, the texture is actually uh, different from how I remembered uh, Spam to be with it being just less less gelatinous, less like finely ground. Like for sure when I bite into this, um, it, it just kind of tastes like coarse, again, coarsely ground, thick cut bacon. That is, that is the, the flavor uh, that I'm seeing. So again, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just like, if you didn't like the texture of Spam, but you liked the flavor of Spam, I could see someone really taking a liking to this. So it's quite uh, nice that way. And it's nice to have some options as well, because obviously there's a couple of different, you know, classic recipes that you guys can be making with Spam. If you don't like it in, you know, kind of like big pieces like this, you can always chop it up into small pieces, you know, pan fry it if it's extra crispy, it also has a different texture to it. So um, all of this is, yeah, it's quite nice. Um, and I'm really happy that they sent it over for me to try. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys all uh, enjoyed this taste test. If you have any questions for me, if you want me to try out the rest of the line, uh, let me know down below and I will see you guys all again real soon. Bye. Most you know, faux meat products. It's really nice to have if you kind of are missing or if you are craving anything. But obviously, you know, you, you look at the ingredients, anything that, you know, might have too much salt or too much oil or too much, you know, starches and, and, and whatnot. Um, those are, those are obviously things that you have to uh, look into. But um, yeah, if you are ever craving spam, um, yeah, now, now there's, there's that substitute for it. So,